Keeping it cool and calm at the Keys is Brady Kendall, a Juno nominee. The artist is nominated for Music Video of the Year. When you have a proper music video as well, people take you more seriously, you know? Um, they think that the projects are more serious. Never was it more serious than in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Uh, next uh, Wednesday, DC. Back when music videos ran all day long on Much Music, Master T was on the mic. People would run home, you know, set their VCRs to record at 4 p.m. to make sure that they, they caught that, uh, the, the, the big one at that time. But with TV channels tuning out, this art form mainly lives online. And while traditional videos still exist, visualizers are now all the rage. Animated ones and short videos on a loop are just some of what's out there. Everything is heading towards the short form and everything that we do, even our attention span. Gibran Haddad recently questioned whether music videos still matter. He found that streamed hit tracks on Spotify get a lot more play than their music videos on YouTube. Going back in time, music video sets have been a breeding ground for future filmmakers. From Spike Jones to Canada's Director X. Sterling LaRose sees that in his future, but his present is already pretty bright. Two of his videos are nominated for Juno this year, and he has faith this art form will continue to thrive. Especially when it's an iconic album or a big song like that music video, people are going to be coming back to that video for years and years and years. And the Juno goes to... And keep celebrating them at award shows like this weekend's Junos. Magda Gebrasselassie, CBC News, Toronto.